Who here has heard of sovereign citizens? Article 4, free inhabitant pursuant to the Articles of Confederation. You can look it up. It's in the United States Book of Codes. It is your laws you have to follow. I'm going to spend some time talking about their imaginary world today. I got you. I will, I will defend my brothers, I will defend the weak I will pursue and fight evil so others may sleep I am the sheep dog, protecting the night Wolf hunters unite, bring it on, it's time to fight A very common question I have gotten since I started making videos is Have you ever had to deal with a sovereign citizen? And if so, how did you deal with them? I have definitely mentioned sovereign citizens in a couple of videos I will link those down below But I'm happy to take a little bit of time today to sort of break down the basics of who are sovereign citizens, what do they get wrong, and how do I normally deal with them. Essentially, sovereign citizens are any group or collection of people who basically answer to no one other than themselves and their own interpretation of the law. They come in three forms, as I see it. The first is a definitely crazy, but probably harmless variety that will drone on and on about conspiracy theories, but probably still bring a fruitcake to a neighborhood gathering? One year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. Oh, God. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. Then you have the middle of the road or standard types that will actually try to nut up against legal authority and clog up the system from valid claims and valid situations that need to be addressed legally. I say we go ahead and actually give them some random plot of land where they can be sovereign and hash it out amongst themselves and see what happens. I do not consent! I do not consent! Help! Help! I do not consent! Then there are legit wingnuts who have resorted to or who plot violence against legally established and peacefully established authority in this country. People like Terry Nichols from my home state of Michigan, who is an accomplice to the Oklahoma City bombing with Timothy McVeigh. They are rare, but obviously they can pose quite a serious threat to our society. Sovereign citizens and their buzzwords and ideology are often referenced from or out of or alongside the Articles of Confederation. The Articles of Confederation, if you went to junior high, was basically a document that was a prototype or, or the first constitution of the United States. It was ratified in 1781 and was basically an early guide for how the federal government was going to interact with the states and how the states were interacting with one another. And Article 4 has this terminology of free inhabitants, one of those buzzwords. In reality, what that is, it's an excuse to not get a driver's license or to pay to have license plates on your car, which I actually wish was true because every year the state of Michigan gives me a great birthday present with a new bill to keep on driving. Maybe I'll just move to Canada. <laughs> no offense, Canada. I like you. But allow me to read you Article 4 from the Articles of Confederation <clears throat> in my best 18th century voice. The better to secure and perpetuate mutual friendship and intercourse among the people of the different states in this union, the free inhabitants of each of these states, paupers, vagabonds, and fugitives from justice accepted, shall be entitled to all privileges and immunities of free citizens in the several states. And the people of each state shall have free ingress and regress to and from any other state, and shall enjoy therein all the privileges of trade and commerce subject to the same duties, impositions, and restrictions as the inhabitants thereof respectfully, re respectively. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, okay, so let me break this down for you in one sentence. You would treat free citizens coming into your state like you treat the citizens of your state. Even if that one sentence summary, which obviously we could talk on and on about uh, a lot of historical things, but even if that is completely wrong, it's actually also irrelevant because we don't follow the Articles of Confederation anymore. We follow the United States Constitution. When you go to the police academy, they don't have an Articles of Confederation class. They have classes on the Constitution. Why? Well, because that's the recognized rule of law in our nation from the lowest courts to the highest courts. It's what the president and the executive branch has to abide by. It's what Congress has to abide by. It is the basis for all laws, even among the states, because the United States Constitution trumps everything. 
quite simply, the arguments of sovereign citizens based on the 18th century way of applying the Articles of Confederation are pointless. You can go ahead and try to take over a traffic stop. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. But that doesn't make it real or legitimate. So have I ever personally dealt with sovereign citizens while working as a police officer? Yes, several times. Uh, one such time stands out because the guy would not speak to us, answer us, look at us if we addressed him by his legal name. We had to call him by some odd singular name, sort of like Prince or Madonna. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Okay. So, of course, I never called him by that name. I always would call him by his legal name. Well, I heated up his Hot Pockets for him, and he stayed in jail until he cooperated and gave the judge his name. How specifically do I deal with them? Well, really, it's, it's the same as everybody. Most of the time, you encounter sovereign citizens on a traffic stop, but it's the same no matter what. So I'm going to use that as the example. So if you pull over a vehicle for a violation, and I approach the vehicle, I'm going to say, Sir, ma'am, can I see your driver's license, please? It's that simple. It's a request. I ask them. When they say no, and then insert all of the buzzwords, I'm traveling, not driving. I'm a free inhabitant. Articles of Confederation. Let me see your supervisor. All of those sorts of things. Then I move on to the tell stage. Sir or ma'am, I am telling you, I am giving you a lawful order to provide me with your driver's license. If you do not, I am going to remove you from the vehicle forcibly and I am going to charge you with obstruction and possibly other crimes. If they continue to refuse, then it's go time. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, the police officer is so violent. We need to retrain them so that they know how to de-escalate. Listen, when someone is completely refusing to cooperate with lawful and peaceful request and then order, you're left with no choice. You're not just going to tow the car and leave them inside of it and let them rot in some impound lot. We might not like sovereign citizens that much, but we can't do that, okay? Well, that about sums it up. Now all we gotta do is sit back and watch the comments for the sovereign citizen type just show up and act like a cancerous tumor trying to kill common sense. Until next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button for my channel. If you want to find me off of YouTube, you can always add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, like my Facebook page, and if you really like me, you can also check out my store or my Patreon page.